New York is a state within the northeastern region of the USA that boasts over 18 million acres of woodlands, which makes up around 61% of the state. Within these forests, there's a large variety of wildlife that range in size, shape, and color. Today, I'll be going over the 10 most dangerous animals living within the state of New York. Number 10. Red-tailed hawks. Red-tailed hawks are the most widespread hawk species in the United States and are very common in New York. These creatures are one of the largest hawk species in the continent and typically inhabit rural areas such as forests, grasslands, and open country. On the contrary, the red-tailed hawk is also known to live in well-populated urban and suburban settings. These birds are extremely territorial and have been known to attack humans for a number of reasons. The most common being when a red-tailed hawk is nested in an area frequented by people. These creatures fiercely defend their nests and its contents from anything that gets a little too close. Even people who happen to walk past trees have been attacked and cut up by the hawk's sharp talons. It gets even worse when the red-tailed hawks make their way into people's homes. Statewide statistics on attacks seemingly aren't available, but some towns and villages in New York have over a dozen attacks per year. Number 9. Bobcats There are around 5,000 bobcats living throughout the state of New York. These creatures mainly inhabit the woodlands within the Adirondack and Catskill regions. There are said to be around 16 bobcats for 100 square miles in the Catskills, while the Adirondack area has about 5 bobcats for every 100 miles. Although these big cats are typically not known to attack humans under normal circumstances, these creatures become very dangerous with rabies. There have been 12 documented rabid bobcat attacks on humans in the state of New York since 1990. Extreme hunger is also a factor that could lead to bobcats attacking humans. Adult bobcats can weigh up to 35 pounds, have sharp claws, and can run 30 miles per hour. These animals can be found in 47 other states throughout the USA. Number 8. The Northern Copperhead Northern Copperheads are a species of venomous snake that inhabit the woodlands of nearly the entire eastern USA, and as far west as Nebraska. In terms of New York, these reptiles are mainly found along the lower Hudson Valley and throughout the Catskills. Copperheads bite more humans than any other snake species in the United States, with around 3,000 incidents occurring in the USA every year. Although copperheads have the least fatal bites out of all other venomous snakes in New York, they are still not to be messed with. Their hemotoxic venom breaks down the tissue surrounding the bite area and causes extreme pain, swelling, and nausea. Number 7. Black Bears Black bears are the only bear species that can be found in New York and they hold a statewide population of around 7,000 individuals. Although these bears can be found throughout most of New York, their highest concentration is within the Adirondacks, which is home to around 4,000 black bears. Based on certain research, there have been around a dozen black bear attacks involving humans over the past couple decades. The last known attack to result in fatality in New York was in 2002. Black bears can be found in over 40 states within the USA and have caused fatal attacks in states such as Montana, Colorado, and many others. Number 6. Timber Rattlesnakes Timber rattlesnakes are certainly one of the more dangerous animals living in the state of New York. This species is said to be the third largest venomous snake in the United States, with adults ranging from 3 to 5 feet in length. Some people have reported seeing timber rattlesnakes upwards of 7 feet long. The exact population of these reptiles in New York is unknown, but numbers have been declining. Out of the three species of venomous snakes in the state, timber rattlesnakes have the most lethal bite. Their venom is considered a hemotoxin, which successfully destroys cell tissue, leading to easier digestion of the snake's prey. There have been no human deaths over the past few decades involving these snakes, but bites do occur on occasion. Timber rattlesnakes can be found in many states in the eastern USA, but in New York they inhabit the forests of the Adirondacks, Catskills, and southeastern parts of the state. Number 5. Snapping Turtles Snapping turtles are the official reptile of New York and can be found all throughout the state. These creatures commonly inhabit ponds, lakes, marshes, and streams. The common snapping turtle doesn't have near the bite force of their cousins, the alligator snapping turtles, but they can still cause some decent damage. Adult snapping turtles have a pretty strong bite force of around 650 newtons, but when you combine that with their sharp and sturdy beaks, the aftermath can be a lot worse. In extreme cases, snapping turtles have the ability to bite off a finger or possibly a toe. At the very least, a bite from one of these reptiles can cause bleeding and scarring. The common snapping turtle weighs around 25 pounds when full grown, with the largest on record being 75 pounds. Number 4. The Eastern Mississauga Rattlesnake The Eastern Mississauga Rattlesnake can be found in the northern Midwest region of the United States and Ontario, Canada. 
They are one of three venom snake species living in the state of New York and can be found in the vicinity of Rochester and Syracuse. Unlike the timber rattlesnake, who prefers rock-filled hilly forests, the Mississauga rattlesnake frequents wooded wetlands, bogs, and agricultural fields. These snakes have venom that is both cetotoxic and hemotoxic, which causes severe cell damage and can lead to loss of limb function. Although the venom is very potent and capable of eroding significant cell tissue, the Misaka's bite is rarely fatal for healthy adults. This species of snake has short fangs, which limits the amount of venom they are able to inject. Small children and elderly people are much more in danger of a potential Misaka rattlesnake bite. Number 3. Black Widow Spiders Black Widow spiders can be found in most parts of America, but they tend to favor the south due to its temperate climate. Although somewhat rare, these arachnids can be found in New York as well. Black widows will make their webs in dark places where there is covering from the weather, such as underneath logs, inside woodpiles, unfinished basements, and garages. Black widow venom is neurotoxic, which means it has an effect on the victim's nervous system. When these spiders inject their venom into insects, this causes eventual paralysis, which makes consumption easier. A black widow bite for a healthy adult should not end in fatality, but will result in uncomfortable symptoms such as swelling, muscle pain, muscle spasms, cramps, and more. Number 2. Moose The eastern moose can be found in many parts of the eastern USA and Canada. They are the only moose species found in New York and tend to frequent the Adirondack Mountains and the upstate Tug Hill Plateau region. Moose are the largest member of the deer family, with healthy adult males weighing 1,500 pounds and females weighing around 1,000 pounds. Moose are generally not aggressive towards humans and will typically avoid interaction whenever possible. However, these animals can become aggressive if they feel threatened or cornered, particularly during the breeding season or if they are protecting young. Moose are also nearsighted and may perceive humans as a threat if they get too close. If a moose does charge, it is important to try and get behind a tree or other solid object, as moose have poor maneuverability and may struggle to stop or change direction quickly. Number 1. Coyotes Coyotes are found all throughout North America and inhabit forests, grasslands, and deserts, plus suburban and urban areas. These creatures are highly adaptive to nearly any environment they find themselves in, which contributes to their success as a species. There are tens of thousands of coyotes stretched out across New York's 62 counties and the numbers are only increasing. Coyote attacks on humans in New York are rare, but they do occur. According to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, there have been a few reported incidents of coyote attacks on humans in the state over the past couple decades. In most cases, these incidents have involved coyotes that have become habituated to human presence and have lost their natural fear of people. Overall, although New York isn't known for its dangerous wildlife, there's some animals to watch out for. These creatures all play a unique role in their respective habitats and are typically only dangerous in certain situations. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a like for more wildlife content. Have a great day.